uh, I think we'll look at we we'll look at 2022. Um, 2022 and I guess start of 2023 this year because uh, yeah I mean 2021 people still argue that COVID played a role sure but uh, honestly I think that it was most 2020 that COVID was big end of 2020 was when COVID was big and then after that it hasn't really paid much of an impact on anything anymore mm. player numbers have to be going up clearly they have to be because war gaming is great decisions right let's see let's start with let's start with eu eu numbers eu numbers okay let's see uh this was of course january last year the spike during the january holiday the christmas holidays this was the spike up here and in uh, then we had the obvious drop that you always have during uh summer and then we had the rise and the interesting though, this rise got kind of hampered very hard by, at this point, there was the submarine release. This is when submarines came live. And, uh, well, you can see that the this really had a really popular impact on the player base for sure. Uh, it kind of recovered afterwards, but this, is, this was this year's um, peak for the Christmas holidays. This was this year's peak for, for, the, for the Christmas holidays. So we've gone from peaking at around almost 33,000 at best up here last year to this year we peaked at, what, 30,000. And it was only one day. It was only one day we had that peak. The rest of the time it was 28 to 29,000. And uh, so we're going to go into the summer drop this time again and we'll see how bad of a drop. Uh but obviously from 32 peak during the christmas holes to 29 30 not exactly the best of science not exactly the best of science we can compare the start of the year the start of the year this is start of the year we're what we're at 28th we're 20 what day is it today it's 27th february so we're basically all through february 23 we're all through february 23 so this was last year's this was last year January to February last year, we had an average of 14,334 players. That was the average player count with a peak of 33,000. And this year we have, for the same time period, January, February, we have 13,400 and a peak of 30,000. So the drop is what? 13,4 13, from... 14.3 about 900 player drop not not the end of the world but i mean it's too big of a number or too long of a time to to ignore the peak down 3000 and the average player count down 900 so i mean not exactly a a good outlook to head in at least the eu server is still very healthy though we got a good we got a good player account here so that it at least is very very healthy we can quickly look at the asian server i'm not going to cover the asian server too much but uh asian server has kind of the op opposite where they tend to spike during the summer there last year winter or christmas holidays they had about what about 19,500 they were about here yeah they were about here they were about 19,500 this year's Christmas they were about here so it dropped from 19.5 to about what 18 a drop not as big of a drop but but a drop we'll see what kind of spikes they have you can see the same same kind of slide here during the submarine release on the C server as well, the big slide down here. This was the submarine release. You'll see this on every server. Um, very popular release for sure. Still, that's obviously a 10% drop. Not exactly the best of science either. Not exactly the best of science either. Um, NA. Well, NA is of course, NA is the one server that is starting to look like it's kind of on live support. Last year's Christmas holidays, we peaked at 17,000. This year's Christmas holidays, we're peaking at about 14,000. That is 
percentually that's pretty bad we're almost approaching 20 percent. what is that 18 percent 18 percent peak drop which is certainly not a good sign uh we can see the same submarine slope the submarine slope we can see it right here um it's gonna start dropping after the holidays we'll see how badly it drops we have gotten some resurgence here in february but apparently there was a resurgence in february here as well so we'll see we'll see it th this resurgence is higher than this one so we'll see how much it'll slope down and how much it'll recover during during summer but if you look at once again january february this is 21 2021 8592 average with a 17k spike 8592 and this year we had 7329 shit that's actually a lot 7.3k from 8.6k holy fuck that's a lot 8.6 to 7.3 how much is that that's a lot jesus that's a lot if 10 percent is 860 it's what 15 almost probably same as eu's drop something like 18 percent 15 16 something like that same same kind of drop thank you leon Leon, but well, for well, in one year that is uh that is pretty bad that is pretty brutal that is pretty brutal for for one year drop uh, and it's 16.3 percent drop for one year jesus that's a lot and uh yeah and when you consider that na is starting to approach critical mass there comes a critical point in a server where uh the player base is so low that matchmaking starts to suffer and when that happens the player base tend to drop off very quickly because no one wants to stay playing a game that they feel no one else is playing so when the matchmaking starts real it's already having hiccups during off peak hours where you get a lot of really wonky games yeah na has already reached that you, where, where if you queue up during off peak hours you get really really wonky games and uh what, what, once that starts bleeding into more and more into regular hours that's when it's gonna collapse so this is that's a big drop 8.5 to 7.16 percent if it goes another one jesus that's very much not good that's it will be even worse and then of course we have the biggest catastrophe of them all like all of those were big drops let's say 16 percent let's say on average 16 percent player drop in a year um this one is of course by far by a mile the absolute worst and that is uh russia the start of the special operation can be seen here this was this server was competing with eu as one of the largest servers at one point um but then came special operation basically slashed the player base in half the problem is however even after the player base got slashed in half it's still been dropping in fact if you look at the past year if you exclude the whole mobilization and being sent to ukraine part uh we're still down from the numbers what here 16.5k these numbers we're still down from 16.5k 15 to 16.5 we're, we're down here at 13.5 to 15 so even despite even after the mobilization the same kind of drop can also be seen on the russian server so when wargaming makes a claim that uh, everything is dandy and millions of players and it's flourishing or whatever whatever other comments they made it, it it's it just it's just baffling to me because uh that's not what we're seeing in game that's or that's not the numbers we're seeing it's uh, and uh, i've never seen more frustration at the state of the game the state of carriers the state of submarines uh, even super ships are being like no one is particularly happy about super ships in general either the matchmaking for almost all lower tiers besides tier 10 and super ships just seems to be butchered there's just just a lot of really baffling decisions and in the entire waterline video for for 2023 the entire 2023 waterline video 
Like, the future world warships, that video. I wish they would stop. Where, where is it? Let's waterline. Win is it, was it winter 2023 when they posted it? Yeah, this thing. Like, have you seen the community response to this thing? Like, the, the community response to this thing. And this is the only people who are running the, the app that shows downvotes. Dislikes. And it's 1.7 thousand dislikes. 550 and this is like the future where the game is headed in 2023 and this is the community reaction to where it's heading it's it, it, it it's baffling <laughs> yeah i love that how wargaming ignores reality and can't accept that the community hates in what direction the game has gone this is basically it and i mean if this is the current state, the current state is already in a downward trend, and everything they promised us for the current for the upcoming year is is hated. How are they expecting this to to change? Like, how are they expecting these these numbers to suddenly shift? Like, it's just it's just baffling. Even Steam charts is showing. I think some of the lowest numbers we've ever seen. It's all even Steam charts is dropping. All right. It's. Is it the lowest peak we've ever had on Steam charts? It might be actually. There was this artificial spike when a lot of people, a lot of people uh, wanted some drops or something from Steam, so that's why the, this spike is there. But I think the peak player here, 12, 12, 440, I think that's the lowest spike the game has ever had since November, when it was just. This is when it was added to Steam. It grew, it grew, it grew, and. Now, now we're at the lowest it's ever been this year. It's like... At what point... At what point are, are Wargaming gonna wake up and realize that they're driving it into the ground and you can't milk a dead cow? That's, that's what I'm wondering. It, it's really sad to see, because like, a lot of things could easily be addressed if they just would take a short breather from pumping out all this nonsensical content that they're forcing into the game and start fixing issues that the players have. And the issues are very clear what players dislike. The lack of counterplay against submarines, the lack of counterplay against carriers, carriers' influence on battles. Like, there's a fair few things that they could easily... All the bugs and glitches in particular with the artillery. There's a fair few things they could easily address and fix, but... More important to pump out new content. It's... AA being so bad plus subs is what completely turned me away from wanting to queue, and I started playing an alpha. Yes, in fact, most of the time when you have a game that's ex especially frustrating, it's because something that you can't do anything about is killing you. And uh, just a terrible, terrible situation to be in. Hmm. I don't think it's an easy fix at all. No, it's not an easy fix, but I mean, they don't really have a choice. Because we this past year and a half, whatever, has shown where... And it's, it's been half a year since they added subs into, into the live game. And numbers have been nothing but dropping. Like, it's very clear where their current path is leading them. So either they continue driving down the cliff, or they actually make an effort into turning the car around. And so far, I haven't... Based on the waterline... They're making zero attempts to turn the car around, which is... I don't understand it. From from a business perspective, I don't understand it. Like, who the hell is in charge there? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fucking get it. And, and you know it's someone high up that pitched the idea of submarines to, to the higher-ups. There's someone high up who pitched the idea, and now they're fully committed into making it a reality. Mmm. Mmm, thank you, Hiroto, for the 49 months. Like, it's some sunk cost fallacy just like with CVs. Where, where they put so much money into it and they promised so much to shareholders or XX or whatever. They promised that this is going to be the next big thing. And now they're willing to th just see it through regardless of how poorly it's going. 